Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Core Keeper. Wandering about our little house here, the little place that we have made home. We have defeated an enemy, providing us with uh, some more stuff we could make. Carapace stuff. Using tin bars, larva meat, slime, and fiber. Pretty good armor, to be honest. And some recall idols. We got a few of those, so we can come back to the core right away. We're going to go out there, and we're going to find ourselves some tin. And then we're going to uh, make these things if we can. We need some bug guts and stuff. Then we're going to go fight the Hive Mother. And I'm pretty sure that that's right about where this, this entire demo ends. We've gotten way more than enough uh, amazing content out of this. Very fun gameplay. Very addictive game game here in total. I am very happy with what we've got. So I can't say that uh, I, uh, that any of this has been uncomfortable or anything. It's all been just beautiful, wonderful fun. And I can't wait to play the real game, the full game, rather, when it arrives. So first things first. We need a pickaxe. <laughs> Ours is about to break. Um, we shall grab a copper bar here, and we'll get some old crabby pickaxes until, until we can find another one. And we're going to go grab ourselves some tin. Maybe some iron while we're at it, too. We'll head this way for now. So, yes, yeah, so I've been playing uh, a variety of games in the very last bits of my <laughs> of my vacation uh which is why i've been playing so many games all at once and hope to get all this content set up on the channel that way i can just work on it all over time eventually and uh kind of amass whoops wrong button amass myself a nice little collection of of shows and whatnot content for individuals to peruse if they wish to. And to say, I've accomplished that thing that I was trying to do. Die, you. So many worms. New point available in Vitality. Okay, okay. Vitality. We got 30% of all skill points added. Max health. Next, bonus damage while at max or low health. Good to know. A couple of items here. Evil ugly bugs. You know, we're actually strong enough. I bet we could probably take on the uh, Hive Mother now. But it would be nice to have the armor and look cool while we did it. You know, we could look like a bug too. Currently dying, of course. Uh, eat it. That one didn't give us health re regen back. There we go, that's better. But I've been playing a lot of games uh, from the the next best, and some of them I, I unfortunately have not uploaded here because their quality and content was just a little too low for me to enjoy myself while I played. I could see some potential for some of the games, but they just didn't really hold up. Now, I mean, I'm totally for uh, playing games like that. Just to give them a try to see what, what potential they have. I could even put them on the channel and do my own kind of are these games good or are they bad type thing in the future. If you like the idea of that, hey, just let me know. Um, but for the moment, I will likely just be playing things that I enjoy. First and foremost. And uh, just sharing those with all of you. Hmm. We got a gap. A gap in the lands. I do struggle with what time that I have available. Um, so, forcing myself to play something that I don't enjoy is very, very difficult for me. Well, look at all this water. Excellent. We got ourselves a whole bunch of mushrooms. Mushrooms are delightful in real life and in video games. There's some more tin. We are going to need bug parts, so finding a way to get all those would be good. Got some boxes here. We'll go take care of these. Come here, box. 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 Got some items. I think there's a bomb in there. It's 
Explosive bugs. Ugh. Ugh. Explodey bugs. Ugh. All those mushrooms. Thank you. Yes, please. And we do need, like, some slime. But I think we have enough slime already. The old tunnel where the giant buggo used to go, but we murdered it. We succeeded and victoried our way to victoriousness. Yeah, there's so many of you. When you're strong enough, certain enemies are no longer much of a problem. Which is nice. Plenty of items we're getting here. Some wood, some boxes, but yeah, for me, uh, my vacation ends um, in three days, and then my content stream will start slowing down to whenever I can upload. Um, I'll still try to get out at least one thing a day, but they may only be like a 30 minute gameplay a day on some of those days. Other ones, when I have the chance. I'll be putting out a few things at once and trying to continue some of the games we already have on the channel. Like uh, finishing off Omori, finishing off Ender Lilies, so on and so forth. I'm not the kind of YouTuber who is going to abandon a playthrough because it isn't popular. Because I like to finish things. <laughs> so, um, even if it takes me a while sometimes, I will get back to and finish any of those games that are out there. Because maybe, maybe somebody wants to watch someone play it rather than play it themselves. Maybe they can't afford to buy it. Maybe they don't have the time. Uh, maybe they want the company of somebody's voice while somebody's going through a game and giving them the opportunity to just kind of witness what others feel and wish to share. Part of the reason why I watch YouTube because it's fun to see other people react to something and, you know, it's like have to have somebody there with you on an experience, even if we're not necessarily in the same room. If you and I, the viewer that is hypothetically watching my channel, uh, is witnessing what I'm going through here, we're building memories that both of us share communally amongst the human spirit. That's one thing that I find fascinating about this day and age is that there is so much content, so much media that all of us can witness and experience and still find ways to communicate about. Say somebody plays a game or watches a movie or listens to a song. And even if nobody in your hometown has played that game, listened to that music, you know, watched that movie, somebody else on the world has in a way that you can likely get in contact with that individual and, and discuss what the two of you thought about that, that event, that movie, that, that music, that, that shared uh, experiential thing. You could watch somebody play through a game. Your experience, of course, is going to be slightly different because you're coming at it from a perspective of an audience member, a, a, a non-participating member if you will. Although some of you do get to, you know, say something in a chat message or, you know, in the comments sections and um, then take part to a smaller degree rather than the individual who's directly playing the game. But you are still witnessing memories as they're produced. <laughs> it's a fascinating thought. As opposed to the olden days, before the internet, before things like this were possible, where we would just be sitting there reading a book on our own, or playing a game in our living room, and then that memory is exclusively ours. And you'll never be able to share that with someone else, ever again. You can explain it, you can talk to someone about it, you can say, hey, when I was younger, I used to do this, I used to do that. You know, way back when, when I tried XYZ, uh, this is how I reacted to it. And isn't that great? And like somebody not in on the joke, the information may not be as forthcoming for the, for the other participant, for the other viewer 
that is now listening to your recollection of the experience. It won't be the same. But if you have two friends, two individuals, community members that have watched a YouTube streamer, let's say PewDiePie or, you know, Markiplier or Jacksepticeye or something, right? And they have a moment in a game and it's funny, it's entertaining, it's a moment in a video that you remember. It is likely that somebody out there has also witnessed that game, that moment, that memory, and shares uh, some similarities with you in the thought process surrounding it. Meaning that the two of you have created a memory that is uh, transcending individuality. It is something that both of you have access to. And while maybe your appreciation for it differs, maybe your opinion of it differs, it's still something shared that never had the chance to exist in the eras before this one. <clears throat> That's why pain and sorrow and problematic situations that are occurring worldwide are quite often... Um, so painful nowadays because we see each other more we hear each other more we recognize each other as human beings more that live and have feelings and have adventures and have knowledge and have moments that maybe we all can appreciate and then we lose that when that person has something bad happen to them in light of current events i'm not going to go into Huge detail, obviously. If you watch the news, then you know what's going on. And if you don't watch the news, then you don't really need to know what's going on right now. It's scary. It's bad. Stay out of it. And I will take it out of this this gameplay video here in just a moment, of course. Um, but yeah, we're all people. We all experience things. We all have our own opinions of them. Some individuals might be a little more toxic than others, or... A little more brash than others and some might be more gentle and quiet and calm and collected and some might be you know boisterous and loud and venturesome but we're all people these are i wish i had one of those the ability to have shared knowledge and shared experiences is kind of like a little immortality. Because the things that you do don't just go by without ever being noticed, seen, heard. Um, they hold some value to some person somewhere, most likely. Things that I'm doing here might not be the coolest thing in the world. I might not be the most entertaining or the most funny or the most whatever. But to someone out there, I'm the right person for them at that moment. And they enjoyed something I said or something I did. And that makes all of it worth it. Who are you? <laughs> and why are you in my house? Lintlock, musket, iron chunk, necklace, uh, cave link bread. We can buy it directly now. That's 12 armor. That's pretty damn good. And the flintlock musket is ridiculously huge damage. Um, how do we attack with it? Is there ammunition? We can summon the giant slime, Gorm, or Hive Mother whenever we want to. That's neat. We have some things to sell. Um, here, let's see. What, what do you want? I have some bomb peppers. We need some money now. I've got some put away. Let's sell that copper ore. It's garbage. We'll sell some copper bars. Um... Gold ore. We're going to need the gold ore, probably. But we'll sell it to you for now. Wood is easy to come by. Uh, I don't need to sell all of it, though. All right. Sell all that. That's 164. We want to get that musket. I'm curious what type of cool damages that this musket might do for us. Take the slime. Take the ancient coins that we already have. Let's go buy ourselves a, buy ourselves a musket. Flint lock. Have we just won the game? We have to have ammunition. We don't. Bang. Bang. It does have a cooldown. But uh yeah, I like this. <laughs> I like this a lot. This this seems like it's gonna be good. We'll give it a go. Uh, we've got all this tin. 
I think we've got the necessary ingredients we have to start making some carapace gear. So we're going to do that. It does look like we have a lot of options in this game for different types of um, armor, like range damage uh, armor, or close combat stuff. All right, we'll buy that. And we have the room for the other one, too. Excellent. Got them both. We'll put those things on, and we'll go kill, kill ourselves a hive mother. And that's probably the end of this demo. Again, demo is badass. Absolutely badass. It's wonderful. All right. We look like a bug. Yes. Fear me. I'm a bug with a gun. Ah, you sell some of the things we might... You sell tin ore now? Larva meat? How long have you sold tin ore? How long? Answer me, damn it! Answer me! Because if it's been for a really long time, I feel kind of dumb. Uh, we'll sell off iron breastplate. And uh, we'll sell the, the helmet. Because we don't need it. You tell me you don't buy torches. Why not? That's good for now. Whatever. Um, We could do a thing with the berries. Get ourselves some more... Um, What's the bonus, by the way, that this armor gives us? We do need better pants, for sure. Bonus explosives damage. 24% damage for a short duration after mining a wall. So we mine a wall and then shoot somebody. We'll do a ton of damage. Um, Let's see. We should be able to make... Yeah, we'll make big bronze pants. But I want to make uh, iron ones. We need two gold bars. We should have gold bars somewhere, right? Yep, we do. And we're going to quick stack. Put away some of this stuff. Get our iron back. We need you still. We have a ton of seeds in here now. We could plant like a really big farm, but I don't think we need it. I will take you fiber. Okay. All right, here we go. Iron pants. And then we could just put that on and get rid of the copper ones. Excellent. Hey, friend. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, friend. I got some stuff to sell you. Some copper pants. And, uh... Wait. Does that just sit there when we walk away? Or does he just, like, keep it? Uh, cook some food while we're over here. I have plenty of larva meat in here. I didn't need to go collect it. I'm just eating it now. Uh, anything else? We got the iron chunk necklace. Our current necklace is... Never did find the other ring or stone. Gold crystal. Melee and range damage increase. Uh, rather than defense. I kind of like that. We'll just keep it. What else you got? All right. Things that summon people in cabling bread. We don't really need any of those things. Cabling bread's actually really good for keeping our hunger satiated. So I'll eat one. Plug. And then we'll put away some stuff that we don't need. Uh, maybe we'll make another iron pickaxe to make moving through spaces easier. Uh, keep those, keep that iron bar. Go over to the iron table. Are you the iron table? You are. We do want an iron pickaxe. Currently have an iron sword, it's fine. Oh look, a new lantern. That was something else I did want to get. Larger glow radius. Iron pickaxe here. We'll just put this other stuff away for now. It's not like we really need it. Uh, slime, go away. Fiber, go away. Money, go away. Pickaxe, go away. Pants, get the hell out of my inventory. Get the hell out of my seat! Ah, go. Go. Be free! Fly into a treasure chest where you can no longer be free! <laughs> Have a dirt wall in there with you in this. Okay. Alright, everybody. Here goes the final challenge. Got our gun ready. We got our food ready. We don't have our we don't have our healing potions. Come here, heartberries and uh, slime blobs. I still have slime blobs, right? Yeah, I still got slime blobs. Go to the alchemy table. Get our potions, then we'll go. Yes. Four healing potions. Better than no healing potions. And we'll put you away now. Now it's time. It has become time for our death-defying adventures into the unknown full of known enemies. Yeah, there, we got lots of gooey mushroom soup. Okay, 
Time to go kill a giant hive, mother. Ah, oh, you mother. We're coming to kill you. I'm gonna kill you, you mother. You mother o' sliminess. How's our gun work? Bang. <laughs> I like it. That was that was nice. That felt good. All right. What's the fastest way to get there? Um, excuse me. How do we? Where's the Where's the map button? There it is. Looks like you are way over here. I don't remember you being in a different chamber. Have you moved? Well, if you moved, I guess we'll just have to dig our way there anyway. But we're willing to do that. It's fine. It's fine. Who keeps breaking all my torches? All you worms are irritating. Bang! Uh, we're getting closer. Dang it. We got holes in the ground everywhere. Diggy hole, diggy, diggy a hole. Um, do we have bridges? Jeff, where are you? Jeff, bridges, you know, because that's, that's dumb. That, that was dumb. Yes, yes, I understand. You don't need to rub it in my face. Ribbit. You don't need to rib it in my face like a frog. Get in my inventory. There we are. We'll just dig our way straight to this horrible, ugly beast monster thing. We're coming for you. Mother Ohiviness. What? What am I breaking through? Buzz, buzz. This hive wall? It is. It's larva hive wall. We can actually dig through it with an iron pickaxe. Good to know. This stuff is hard. Here, we made it in. Sort of. We'll follow the river down. That seems like the right way to do this. Break. <laughs> this is going to take forever if we dug through the entire hive wall this way. I wonder if this is increasing our mining skill. Excellent. We made it through some of the... Dang it. Uh, you have made me so angry because I have to move so slowly. Don't you know I have no attention span? Where's my drill? Where is it? Give me the drill. Let me get through this stuff quicker. There's a torch down here. Have I I've been down here before? No way. Once we get into the main body of this hive, I think we'll be okay. We'll be able to travel a little quicker at that point. But uh, in the meantime, tedium. Oh, that's that's good. That's good video content right there. Tedium. Yeah. So I've been uh, down inside of this tunnel for 1,426 years. And you know what I find really disturbing is the fact that I've been backed up for that entire time. Not once have I used a bathroom since I've been down here. I haven't found one anywhere, as a matter of fact. It's like the agents of uh, chaos that live in this area, all the bugs and whatnot, don't have any rear orifices. And as I sit there thinking about that, I check myself and realize I don't either. Oh my goodness, I am bumless. What do I do about that? I don't know. I guess I'll just have to accept the fact that someday I will explode from all the pent-up poo in my body. Gross, you say? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But, you know, I have little else to talk about when I am uh, actively wandering through the uh, underdark and uh, carving holes out of hive walls that take way too goddamn long. You know what? When all else fails, shoot it. That didn't work. 
<laughs> Doesn't do mining damage, just does damage damage. Damn it. Ow, feet are on fire. Uh, you gotta actually aim for the critters. So there's a problem. If there's more than one enemy at a time. We have to only hit one of them at a time. So it would have been better for me to create another steel weapon. But you know what we can do? Shoot things from across the river. Dang, you have a lot of health. Is this slow? And if we miss, it's bad. Dang, how are you still alive? You really have that much health? Seriously? Or are you just like regenerating because you can't reach me? Okay. Fine. Ah! Not good news. Bad news, Bullywugs. Yeah, gun's not very, not very good. So we can attack so much faster with this. Oh my god, we're almost dead. Uh, drink it. Push the push the drink button. Push push the drink button. Drink drink the uh, goop. Drink the goop. Ow, spikes everywhere. Ow, spikes everywhere. <laughs> Why is it so many spikes? It's always spikes. Oh, now it's acid. Ow. Ow. Uh, 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 I, 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 I may have made mistakes in, in this life. Yeah, and the enemy's above us now. It's not even in this direction anymore. Ow. Now little, little red bugs. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you, no, you don't. There's so many of you. You get spiked by your own spikies. I find that strange. Ah, there's so many spikes in here. I mean, like, what the hell? Really? Our ranged combat skills suck. Uh, the enemy's north of us. We're just going to eat some food, regenerate a little bit shoot these stupid things until they die. And I guess we're digging again. Ah, uh, How did I overshoot it so bad? So yeah, like I was talking about, we have no bee holes. <laughs> let's, let's not. That's, that gets over. That's fine. So digging away here. Ultimately... This game seems to have uh, some issues with range damage so far. If we could attack a little faster, if maybe we could find weapons and hit more than one person. Give me a shotgun, you know? Give me a shotgun. That was a that was a common issue with things like Terraria. Was balance between all of your abilities and your weapons. The melee classes actually, in my opinion, were lacking until you got to certain weapons that had a bigger reach and you didn't have to stand directly on top of your enemies. The ranged classes worked best against some of the bosses that were out there because they wouldn't be stopped by your attacks. They wouldn't be slowed down. When you're in that close, you could quite often just get hit. There wasn't a dodge mechanic or anything like that in Terraria. So you had to be really careful when you were playing a melee build, just to have enough armor, enough health, enough healing items to try to stay alive. Um, whereas when you had ranged attacks and magic, you could just sprint away while shooting behind you and quite often uh, succeed on, on killing some of the more difficult ones, even in solo, rather than having to have allies. You build those elaborate machines, like uh, like mine carts that were set up on tracks in the sky that would just rush you very, very quickly around them while you fired uh, tracing bullets and using chlorophyte at some of the bigger enemies, and, and they wouldn't be able to get to you and hurt you. And I mean, the dodging you can do is like flying up and flying down very fast. Um, Let's see. So we haven't been noticed by El Buggles yet. And while that's the case, we're going to use this. And then we're going to go... Nice, critical hit. These things do die faster when we're not stuck across the river. 
So they, they regenerate some. It's obvious that they do. Put some of these down. And then you. See if we can shoot the hive mother now. Ow! It acided me. So you just keep shooting it and strafing. But this is going to allow a lot of the, uh, the little bugs to start creeping up on us like this. Seems like maybe we should just get in and hit a few times with this. Uh, heal. Regenerate. So much acid all over the floor. So many enemies right on top of us. Clearing some of them up is going to be important. Getting rid of these before they hatch. Stop it, hive eggs. Oh, crud. And this is why we should have had another sword of some kind. Ah! Crud. Okay. Uh, we're gonna just use this and head back and go get a sword and then come back here. Oh, no! Oh, gosh. Are we still taking damage while well, we're not technically there? Looks like it. We'll just have ourselves a nice snack and hop in bed for a minute. Maybe that'll help us regenerate faster. Not really much faster. Okay. Not having an iron sword was our problem. Not having a couple more heals was our problem. Do we even have enough to make another iron sword? Are we out of luck? Is this the end? My only friend, the end? It was you, Eva. Yeah, okay. What do we need? We need uh, eight iron bars. We only have three. You don't sell iron bars, do you? No? Have you changed your mind and started selling iron bars? Copper, uh, tin, more of a meat? Nope, you have not. You have not, you don't have, you have let me down, friend. I say that sparingly. We didn't die, but we didn't do very good. And this thing, wow, that's a disappointment. Absolutely a disappointment. Uh, we got recall idols already. We could make ourselves another slime sword. It doesn't do as much damage as the uh, the iron sword for sure. But uh, I think what we're gonna do this time, we'll come back uh, after I've collected some some iron on the next episode, and uh, and see if we can't finish what we started today. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Next time, we will defeat this damn thing. And uh, of course, continue being your beautiful, wonderful selves. And goodbye.